Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update with the lamps mounted on the posts supporting the railings which surround the building. The lamps have been added to match those which can be seen in various photographs and illustrations. Lamps have been placed at similar spacings for those parts of the railings not covered by illustrations. Passing through the main entrance and into the south transept, we can see a recreation of Thomas Thornycroft's equestrian statue of Queen Victoria on her favourite charger, Hammond. This model is by Thang Nguyen. We have also added billboard versions of several extant sculptures which we have not yet been able to model. On the east side of the transept we have added Beatrice by John Hancock, which is at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Also Richard Marquis Wellesley by Henry Weeks, which is above the Gurkha Stair in the former India office, King Charles Street, London. Just behind the equestrian statue of Queen Victoria we now have two new recreations of lost sculptures by Mary Thornycroft. On the east side is Alfred the Great being given a book of Saxon poetry by his mother. It was a prize given by his mother to the first of her children to learn the book by heart. It is recorded that his mother died when Alfred was six, he appears somewhat older in Thornycroft's sculpture. This model is by Alberto Bauer. On the west side is Jealousy of Medea. This model is by Thang Nguyen. Moving slightly further north we have added another billboard sculpture, The Amazons and Argonaut by Joseph Engel. This piece was commissioned by Prince Albert and is now at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. Continuing towards the Crystal Fountain and turning east into the foreign nave, we come to Andromeda by John Bell. This was purchased by Queen Victoria from the Great Exhibition and is now the centrepiece of a fountain in the grounds of Osborne House. This model is also by Thang Nguyen. Returning to the north side of the transept we come to another model by Thang Nguyen, the equestrian statue of Prince Albert by James Wyatt. Moving slightly northeast we come to Ancient Britain by George Gammon Adams. This piece was lost in the 1936 fire at the Sydenham Crystal Palace. It is another model by Thang Nguyen. And immediately north of this is a recreation of Milton and his daughters by James Legru. This model is by Alberto Bauer. And finally for this update, we cross to the other side of the transept to one of the great elm trees. Here we can see a small plaque attached to the tree. The legend reads, this elm tree stood inside the first great exhibition of 1851. We do not know when this plaque was attached to this tree, but we do know it entered the collections of the Victoria and Albert Museum in 1935 so it may be the elm trees were felled as a result of the severe storms that year although other sources say they were felled in the 1890s. We are grateful to the Victoria and Albert Museum for allowing us to use this image of the plaque. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.